What up, everybody? Where were you guys from? Who's tuned in? Who we got hey, here? You see from here, one says, I can't see shit. I guess because of the lows. Well, yeah, I can see right here. Oh, yeah, I can see from Kathy, here. Kathy, what's good, Kathy? Where were you from? Where you from? Hey, hey, Kathy Torres. What's up, Kathy? What's poppin'? Hey, what's up? Santiago, what I it know. do? Idaho, no, nah, they 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 called me to book me in uh North Dakota. How far is that from Idaho? Is that far from Idaho? <laughs> North Dakota? How far? Is that? Josh Perez from New Mexico. Josh, what up, Josh? Much love to Josh, man. I ain't been back out there in a minute, man. I see y'all been doing some big shows. Shout out to my boy Scott Bibliano, man. You know what I'm saying? Big Six, Big Six. Don't be throwing them shows out there, boy. <laughs> Big Cree, what it do? Merch gang. Shouts out Big Cree Merch Gang, man. Man, I know y'all killed it today. I know the weather was nice out there in San Antonio, man. I kind of fell off a little bit, man. You know what I'm saying? I got to get my merch back up. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, shouts out Big Cree, the Merch Gang, Spider Jones, all them boys, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Perla, my cousin Perla from Chi-Town. She tuned in. What's up, Perla? Perla. Yeah, yeah, that's that's that's, that's Luke's daughter. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm in Chicago. Yeah. What's up, Pearl? I, I I kicked it with Uncle Lupe. I came to Chicago. I kicked it with uh, what's the other uncles? Uh, uh Victor. I kicked Danny, it with you, Victor. You, you, you pretty much hung out with everybody. I hung out with everybody. Yep. Had a good time. We got drunk and uh, Gary was it? No, Hammond. We got drunk and Hammond and crossed back. Yeah, we did that. And some shit. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So um, yeah, man. Let's see, Max Martinez is my dog. What's good? New What's Mexico good? in the building, bro. New Mexico in the building, What's up, man? Donna Lisa? Donna Lisa? What Donna you, Lisa. What it, do? what it do? Much love to you, man. You know what I'm saying? She always showed me love. I actually got a song with her that, uh, you know, I don't know what she did with it. Uh, but, yeah, let me know when you get that joint together. Jay Hernandez. What it do? What it do? Selena, what's good? Celeste, what's good? What's said from San Antonio? We got San Antonio in the building. We got Chris in the building. Philly Mays in the building. Shouts out Philly Mays, Birch Gang, man. Much love to you, brother. Victoria Martinez from uh, Fort Worth. What it do? Yes, sir. Solitos Tank from Round Lake, yes, Illinois. Yes, What's going down? Shout out to Round Lake, Illinois, man. Uh, I stayed out there a few years, man. Them boys is crazy out there. I went to school with some of them boys, man. Where? Uh, Round Lake, Illinois. Round Lake, Illinois. Hey, them boys so got look, the car clubs and shit. So look, since we got the people in there and we got some people from Illinois, so what? And that maybe that. What y'all think about the purge law in Illinois starting January the first? Hmm. If you don't know about the purge law, you know what I'm saying. I, I, I you gotta go look it up. But I don't even mean to call it the purge law, because that's not, I don't know what that's called. But in a part in Illinois, I think it's the whole state, and I don't know how true or false this is. If I'm cat, tell me I'm cat. But <clears throat> you're going to be able to purge in Illinois in January the 1st. The purge, so, so, so what do you hear about that? Yeah, I think I heard a little bit about you, it. You, you got your phone back there, <coughs> uh, Bolty? Uh, safe that. Uh, what is it called? Safe that. Safe Act. Okay, so we got we got our information guy in the back. The Safe Act. Anybody know about the Safe Act going on in Illinois? Tell me, bro. I'm a dummy. I don't know. I, I just heard a little something about it. Is it true that you won't be able to uh, commit a certain amount of crimes or something for a certain hours and the sure, cops man. don't get there? Or yeah, they, or they you go to court later. I don't know what it is, but. All my Illinois people, be careful. I travel to Illinois. Look, I got an Illinois Chicago hat. I got much love for Illinois, you know what I'm saying? You know, Chicago. But if anybody know about that, and if you come to the chat later on, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, yeah, give me some answers, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, but I'm not really too much into politics, but now I got I got a little baby daughter. Basically, basically that they can't <clears throat> just, like, kick someone's door in no more, right? Like, like they used to. Because I remember when I lived in Chicago in the city, uh, we used to have a, a, a two by four uh, holding the door down on the other side, so where they couldn't just come in and kick our door in, because they they would freely just kick a door down. And well, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm sure that if they got a warrant for your ass, you think so? <laughs> they gonna come kick yeah. your goddamn door. <laughs> but I, but I think it's harder for them to pull those permits, though. You know, what I mean, those uh, those uh, 
Well, warrants, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, you know, that's that defund the police thing. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's a, a lot of crime. Crime is going up, and, you know, I try to stay low, lay low, you know what I mean? Uh, stay dangerous, keep my head on the swivel, and move like I'm on the run. That's yeah. what I do as an OG I am because I don't trust nobody. But at the same time, yeah. you know, uh, yeah, if you, if you committing crimes and you doing some shit, they gonna come kicking your door. <laughs> they gonna come kicking your door. But that's the Illinois shit, though. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm just, you know what I'm saying, on here just chopping game about you said, uh, shit. Watch what my brother Juan Manuel Jaquis is saying. So we gotta look that guy up. Uh, okay, Juan, Juan, okay, we're gonna look him up for sure. We're gonna look him up for sure. Yeah, by the way, man, y'all make sure y'all look up my channels. If y'all not <coughs> following me, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, you can follow my Instagram at Rashid 21st Century. I got my TikTok, the Dope House OG. Oh, okay, he's saying some shit right there. That's Juan. He says, and if you uh, get bill and don't show up to your court date, they won't come looking for you for 48 hours. By then, you could cross the border. Right. Yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, man. Well, yeah, shouts out to Illinois, man. Any of my Illinois people, please follow hey, me. Hey, and that dude right there, Solitos Tank, man, like I, I grew up with him, man. I think it was high school that I went with, you know, he was one of them that was running around with us. But, uh, you know, now he's a big part of this, uh, 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 you know, car club movement. That is what I was telling Where you. Where the car club at? You know, uh, it's called Solitos Car Club. Man, and bro, like, like, bring me out to the Solitos Car Show, man. You know y'all boy, bring me out. Let me go rock some old jams with y'all boys. I was man. telling him, man, we got to get Dope House Records out there, man, to come come, come, come hit that shit yeah, one time. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, we gotta get Rashid out there. You feel me? Yeah, I come through. I mean, I, I could, you know, we got a couple of other people we could bring. But shouts out to y'all, man. Much love, Illinois, Salute those car clubs. <clears throat> talking about Chicago. I got the Chicago hat on, so I thought I. Yeah, I think we need to we need to go to Illinois a lot. Like, I don't think anybody's really traveled through it like that. But I mean, I know we we we've been there. A few we've been times. in there. Hey, we've hey, been hey, in there a few hey, times. Any, anybody that's watching, if you from Illinois, mm -hmm. being both been in there on the train in the middle of oh, downtown, okay. <laughs> went to the barber shop. I got. My fro trimmed down. The nigga talking about. We went to we went to Indiana while we were out there. We went to we went to yeah, we so we got to Illinois. Well, you know the borderline. And okay. then we went all the way to Toledo, Ohio. So, and and uh, uh, it's a small town, but this your town, Sock City, Sock Village. Oh, Sock Village. Sock that, Village. That's by Chicago Heights, right mm -hmm. there. You know? So and that's where my family's from, Chicago Heights. So it's like, you know, we were over there. Messing around over there. It was crazy, man. We, we did a lot of say high school days. Oh, Keeks. I think Keeks on this. Shouts out to Keeks. Keeks, man. Listen, anybody on here, man, Keeks, you know, I'm going to give you your flowers now. Keeks. Keeks is 21st century. Much love, man. Just like Big Creek. Fucking Keeks is the one of the most extraordinary artists I ever had a part of, a part of my organization, 21st century. And I appreciate you jumping on the new album that I got coming out with Lil Young and Manny. You know what I'm saying? Not to get on music. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But but and, but and if y'all don't know who that is, that's the dude that uh, his name is Kyle right there. So Kyle Edgar. Keeks and is with Kyle Edgar. Keeks yeah. is that's yeah, that's my boy, man. Yeah. That's 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 my boy, man. That's my boy. Shouts out to Keeks, shouts out to Big Cree sign then Big Cree, I need to I need to get some of your team to come help me out, man. You know that boy Big Cree got the team going, man. Shout out to Big the team out there. The team going the street there, team out there, man. You know what I mean? Killing them. Oh, and the boy, uh, and these San Antonio people, Static TV. Static mm -hmm. got the fucking hey. warehouse, man. Shouts out to Static TV, Bro, man. That, that's one hard. You know what? We need to do an awards, man, and like bring some of these guys up because some people don't know, but. Like, you know, static TV from going and shooting everybody's videos for years to, to you know, now uh, he has that building where you can go to different rooms and it's all different backgrounds. That's yeah, I heard that, but I heard about it. I got, I got to come work with you, static, man. Static, you know. somebody, if you know static and static knows somebody that knows somebody know, know static, tell static. I said, man, Rashid, you know what I'm you love, man, give me you go. Even though I seen the post with your birthday. But it'll be so many birthdays, bro. Every time I get on internet, Facebook, everybody, that's because we're getting older and our kids getting older and our kids is having kids. So every time you go on Facebook, if it's a family member or yeah. a homeboy, happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm yeah. talking about, bro, it's not going to be one day you're going to grow through Facebook and that shit had your birthday. So I think, anyway, long story short, I seen that, I seen your birthday static. Much love and happy birthday to you. If you know static TV, say, hey man, Rashid told you happy birthday. I just did it out of love. You ain't even got to know I said it, but I might message you. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, JT from Waco. What's good, JT? JT, what's up, Waco? I ain't been out to Waco in a minute. Shouts out to our boy. What's our boy name? Keep getting locked. Uh, Chris Cruz, man. Shouts out to Chris Cruz, man. You know that boy keep getting locked. I was thinking about that song. Uh, you'll do it for me. Do it uh, for me. Uh, 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 yeah, that, yeah, that's a badass song we got, man. But uh, uh, yeah, man. But uh, yeah, but right now it's election time. I'm not a politician, and mm -hmm. I know people don't be want to hear. You know, I know it's a lot of other stuff going on, whatever. But you know, I got more more important shit to be worried about. But I'm jumping on just to show love. But it's election time, mm -hmm. and uh, my homeboy called me early in the morning, and he talked to me for 30 minutes straight about uh, politics and abortion and all that. I was like, damn, but it was too much because early in the morning when I play Call of Duty, if you play Call of Duty, let me know and I'll play with you early in the morning. Long story short. <laughs> Uh, Sleepy Joe, is he gonna win again? I don't want to be too long on that. No, nah, you're, you're good. You're but, good. But you think Sleepy Joe won't win the presidency? Who won't? Who? 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 Who is Sleepy? I don't know nothing about this. Joe Sleep Joe Biden. Oh, 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 that's his name. God damn. Yeah, yeah, he's sleep. Oh, my bad. You just said that. I don't know. You don't fuck Sleepy Joe. That boy said. I don't really. Keep up with the shit like that, so are you yeah. enlighten me? Dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sleepy, yeah, sleepy Joe Biden, dog. Yeah, he said, sleepy. yeah, yeah. Because see, see, listen. Now, I, I, I don't know Trump. I don't know Biden. I never met him. That's why I can't speak on other certain things that's going on right now. Because if I don't know you, I can't really speak on you. I can only speak on what I see. You know, and then if I don't know you personally, you know, boom, you might be a whole different in person than right. what you are on the internet, whatever. But uh, from watching the politics, Trump was in Russia damn near every week when that motherfucker was in office. He knew they was up to something over there. And as soon as they got that motherfucker out of office, we awarded them all. I'm just saying that, that's kind of suspicious. I know we say Trump is a racist and all that, but he knew something about them goddamn Russians. He was over there. He was married to a Russian. Yeah. You he feel was, me? He was protecting the right. He was protecting the right. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, yeah, just, I'm, just, I'm just, yeah, you know, yeah, he was smashing it back. Hey, yeah, tell, he was yeah, that tell me what's going on. What is Putin have playing? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know, anyway, not to get on that, but I know that I, I don't vote because I don't yeah. trust no politicians. I don't trust uh, Democrats, Republicans. I don't trust none of that. They say the Democrats is really. It's what's holding the uh, population yeah. down. They say the Republicans, and you, you know, it's a big clusterfuck. So I don't vote. Excuse my friends. My man, I on the channel. But uh, but uh, yeah, politics going on, man. So a sleepy Joe going to win. That's all I'm asking, man. You to comment later the mo. Come back an hour later, two days later. Come to my channel. Uh, follow my YouTube channel, Twenty First Century Dynasty TV. You know, because yeah. Mo gonna put this up, and hopefully he'll take some clips out of here, and put it in his. Hopefully you get some good. Uh, how much time we got? We're good. Okay, okay. we get some good, uh, some good information, some good yeah, feedback. Good. But uh, yeah, man, because I see Joe Biden, he be like walking off in the yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Man, I, I'm gonna be a, real, bro. Okay. Like, I'm gonna be real. I just feel like they're all a bunch of puppets anyway. So, yeah, I, yeah. and it's fucked up though because I really do need to pay attention because. It's still stuff that's going on in the world, and, and, and I feel like I don't pay attention to it enough. And but but I'm always busy, man. I'm always working, so I barely even find the fucking I be time working to even too, watch. Bro. I be working. That shit be man. popping up on my news feed. But they say most of news media is <clears throat> false, so I'm not in Ukraine. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. I can't say they blowing them up. I can't. Say, you know, I just really don't know because I'm not there. Right. But to my understanding, and I'm not racist. I love everybody. But to my understanding. The Ukrainians don't even really like black people or minorities. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All the way I know, if I go find out if I go over to Ukraine. Yeah, and I'm like, what's up? I'm from America. They either go beat my ass or they go say, welcome to Ukraine. Man, you can't be testing people in different countries like that, man. Hey, I got love for, listen, if you're a Russian woman, if you're a Ukrainian woman, if you're an Asian woman, I love you. 
Damn. Yeah. If all, oh yeah, with all of the crazy stuff that's going on with uh, I, I ain't gonna lie, man. I've been looking at Filipino women. Okay, Filipino at, too. I love oh your Filipino. God, yeah. You know, you know, I love all races. Now, so, right, not, you not know what? Races, I, races. Hold on, hold on. Let me say something. Mm -hmm. I love all women, man, but I just love a feminine woman because, like, man, there'd be some uh, fucking. Bulldog ass one okay. out there, boy. Okay, look, check it out. Since this oh. is my first time on your channel, yeah, we, yeah. We, we're not going to talk We ain't going to go. We ain't going to go. We ain't going to go. But, 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 but we're not that deep. But we have, you know, it's, you know, we, we know there's people that, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, we don't want no trouble. Because I do right. One time I was looking at one chick, but that was her chick that was with her. And I'm looking at her. And she looking at me. She was like, oh. so I was like, God damn. I was like, man, you know what I'm saying? So I, I feel you. I feel you. But but we're all but did not not to discredit nothing that you're saying. But what now, I'm just saying, man. I, you know what? And, and I ain't even trying to put out there. But last night I went through a situation. The homie set me up on a blind kind of thing with his, his the girl he had, and then so she come in his hoe. You know, roughed in the mouth. I start looking at her hands. The motherfucker start looking what? Like she was like a man. Damn me. What? She, she was beautiful in the face. She just had, she was just rough, but she was like one of them OG women, you know, and I was like. Oh, but she was pretty, though. She was pretty, but I was just like, but, but she was just too rough. She's like, I pin a pin, I do this, that motherfucker over there, you know. I, I fucking, you know, I'm the better now, you know what I mean? I'm like, bro, like, listen, bro, like, you already scared of me, bro. Like, hey, so I don't see, in my life, hey, man. Hey, my God. She a shot caller like a mother, bro. Hey, like, hey, but once you, you put that magic stick on her, though, all that shit is you. No, no, she was talking about the dude that, that was waiting on her house, but he, she like, fuck that motherfucker. Like, oh, you know, God. I pay this, I pay that. I I'm like, well, damn, I don't want to know nothing about you. Like, you know what I did, bro? I'm going to be real with you. And I, it was it kind of intimidated. She kind of got mad but because she was here to see who I was or whatever. But I put the laptop right in the middle of both of us, and I turned the fucking laptop up. And so, like, build a wall between us, and she was like, oh, this motherfucker ain't fucking with me. No, I'm not. Yo, you want to fuck with me? Yeah, bro. I open the laptop up. I open that bitch up right in front of her like that, and I'm like, let me go to work, because I, I don't well, have time to be playing well, with your motherfucking well, well, ass. Horny, horny man didn't come out. No, nah, no, nah, not on that, bro. Like, that was... <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Cut that shit short. <laughs> hey, and, and, and she kept telling the homegirl, take me home, like... You know, she, she, she was shooting like little slugs, like, oh, man, I got to go home. This dude got the laptop up like that. You know, and I'm like, oh, no, nah, I see all of y'all that's in front of me. It's just I got to do a little work, you know, like. How, how was our homegirl? I ain't got time for this. No, the homegirl was cool. She, she, was, she was with the, with, with the homie. She was cool. All right, man. Well, look, all y'all ladies but out there, man, I just think we got on the women thing. Be I'm feminine. Saying. All I'm saying is be feminine, man, to a man. Man, what? that's what a man wants is a feminine woman. Well, 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 okay. I don't, I, I, me, personally, I don't mind if a woman is a little rough or a yeah, little, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying, because yeah. I'm a man and I know that I like women. Now you know I don't. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm 100 percent straight, mm. but you know, but if you if you a little tough and all that, but because I'm not the the brain of toughness, <laughs> I'm gonna make I'm here to make love to you, baby. And yeah, and make them feel, feel good. good. You know, yeah, that, that boy, that boy. Yeah, you. Rashid, get up already. You ain't washing dishes. <laughs> oh, you know what? Speaking of that, bro, listen. This is why I, mm. I've always lived like a bachelor. One time I stayed at my 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 son Matt. He's about twenty one yeah. now. I stayed at I stayed at his house with his mom one time. I had a nice house. This was many many years ago. Yeah. I left one dish in the sink. Right. Oh. This shit. Look, that motherfucker called me back, my boy. She is. She. <laughs> I was like, damn, I left one dish in the sink. But at the end of the day, now that I like shit clean, I understand where she was mm -hmm. coming from, but it was one dish. But all it took was that one she time. Could've, she could have hooked you up. She scarred me for life. She's but, 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 but. Other than, I, I love women. I, you know what I'm saying? Bob, we was talking about different races. We were talking about Ukraine and Ukrainian mm -hmm. women and all that. So back to, so we could go out with closing. Shouts out to the people in Ukraine. You know, they say they don't really too much, you know, 
say fuck with the blacks, the yeah. negroes, whatever. But that's all right. I hope they be all right. But we don't know what's really going on over there. But we, we love all. We're going to have to go. If we you're a Ukrainian go. woman, I'll take you on a date. If you're a Russian woman, I'll take you on a date. I'm not going to abuse you and try to rough you up and, you know what I mean, and get mad and grab you by your collar and be jealous and all that. Well, I got time for that. But, you know, we like variety, bro. You know, so we're going to close that out with that. Much love to the Ukrainians. I don't know what's up with Russian Putin doing whatever he doing. You know, uh, what is it? The new, what's that new bomb Putin got? Y'all ever heard of the name of that new bomb Putin got? It's called Satan 2. You think he gonna shoot that motherfucker? All right, that's all I'm gonna say. I ain't gonna talk no more about it. Yeah, so. yeah Satan 2. Yeah. yeah, let me ask you a quick question, okay? When you when you go around the country, because I know you you be all over the fucking place. I be trying. What is the uh, best food place you've tried? Your, your favorite that that, that you you would travel for that motherfucker? Come on, Mo. Yeah, man, I gotta kind. fuck you up. Yeah, though. I mean, you know, because I know I know, got one outside that I'm. I, just gonna, I, I mean, you know, I, we're gonna take Texas out the picture because mm -hmm. I live here. Right. So if I had to say it. I had to go say California first. Hmm. But I had to and say what is, what, is, what is the food that, that you like over there? Oh uh, shit, man! It's just one. It's just a, one of them little hood restaurants, man. I can't say the yeah. particular place. Now, of course, Danny's Danny Trejo's tacos was good, but Danny yeah. Trejo, yeah. you know, he's a friend of you know. To the family. To the know. fam, to, you know, to bad. He showed me love. I stayed at his house, which was an honor to me because I watched fucking Dust the Dawn a million times on a VHS. <laughs> yeah. So I was a fan of Danny Trejo before, you know, whenever. So, but I've been to Trejo's Tacos. I like Trejo's Tacos. But I've been to Cali many, many more times yeah. before i been to Trejo's Tacos. Mm. So, but... It was a couple of hood spots that I've been to. I just waited to cook it. And then second, I would have to say Florida. So I'm going to say Texas first, then Florida. Now, my hometown of Philly, the Philly cheesesteak always going to be the shit. The Philly cheesesteak always going to be the I'm, I'm, I'm waiting oh, to go get that. I'm waiting to go get that. But you know what? what? But see, now you got me tripping. Because the hat. Oh, man. You, you man, when well, you took food. me there with the pizza, with that deep, deep You're talking about that one with the barbecue ooh, sauce on it? Ooh. That shit was crazy, dog. I ain't going to lie. That was a Illuminati's pizza. Oh, oh, oh here we go. There we go. Lu Lu Illuminati ass. It's not right. Illuminati. It's Illuminati. Oh, Illuminati. Okay. Illuminati. Ah, mm -hmm. shit. See, that's what I get for talking about the Illuminati. I fucked my hand. Uh, there we go. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but no they, they got the good pizza out there and you know what what was crazy is uh what trips me out i, I go all these places and they might they might have a little bit of, of that kind of food from chicago out, out here but uh it's hard to find but pizza pockets pizza pockets bro when i was hey, a fucking kid you tweaking bro, bro them fucking <laughs> chicago fucking no no you know you know what it's called it's called a, a pizza puff i'm tripping Oh, a yeah. pizza puff. Bro, listen. Pizza puff. We don't have no motherfucking pizza puff out here, bro. I don't want you to that shit probably wasn't popular like that, shit, bro. Bro, nah, nah it's just, it, it stayed there. It stayed there. It stayed there. <coughs> There's a lot of good shit out there that they don't so have. So if I go to Chicago, I can go to a pizza, pizza puff. Do you go to any pizza place and ask for a pizza puff? Or, so so what is a pizza puff? Real it's quick. like, it's like a, okay, like. You would think, okay, you know the shape of a hot pocket, right? But it's not a hot pocket. Okay, that, which, that's like me some, personally. That's some whack shit. I don't like hot pockets. Yeah, hot they pockets suck. is some manufactured whack ass shit. Okay, but they know, look like a hot pocket. And it barely got anything in it. Nah, it's actually fatter, right? It's fucking fatter. And, and you know, it's, it's just thick. And then it has a flaky uh, 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 crust around it. with the And it's stuffed with fucking... Uh, like beef and fucking uh, the, the meat in there. So what's the difference Crazy. between it and the actual pizza, like far as the ingredients? It's probably everything, you know. Man, well, I this shit it's man. pretty much that. It's pretty much that. The oh, sauce, okay. the sauce, and the meat. All right, but look out for that pizza puff, pizza puff, man. Pizza puff, man. That's the shit. We, we got, uh, you know, I got to take you to go eat some. But, uh, you know, the, 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 the biggest shit that they do love out there, though, is them, uh, uh, of course, the pizza, but they uh, take pride in that Italian beef sandwich. Oh, shit, Italian beef. Well, I'm having one of the rappers out there with Italian beef. 
Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, one, one of the rappers, but anyway, I don't know, I ain't gonna talk about it. But y'all, if y'all know about Chicago rap, he just went, he just went to jail. Yeah. He just went, you know what I'm saying? I'm a fan of Chicago. I'm a fan of Chicago music dogs and everything, but Italian beef, y'all try that shit out when y'all get up there in Chicago, man. You know what I'm saying? What is your favorite Chicago artist? Right now? Yeah. Right now? Shit, it's hard to say, man, because I, I I like the uh you know I like Lil Reese I like Chief Keith you know Chief Keith not really <clears throat> there that much uh Dirk is cool I like I like Lil Dirk Dirk all right but uh, but if I if I, as far as me liking I like to play that song by Lil Reese called Just Us yeah. I will play that on repeat it's just us the at the top I like Lil Reese uh, Which I think he's locked up in Texas right now Shouts out to Lil Reese Hopefully he yeah, alright No beef R.I.P. to Duke the Jeweler I'm not going to talk about that too much But you know Duke the Jeweler from Chicago He got murdered here About a few months ago uh, But uh, 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 Chief Keith uh, I like Lil Reese Dirk It was a rapper named Bump J But he had not came out with no new music lately But I've always been a fan of Bump J But see that's this generation Mm -hmm. you know, I had to go back, you know, then you got the Twisters and the Kanye Wests, but Kanye West tweaking right now. Let me ask you a quick question. What's up? Who's your best Cali artist right now? My best Cali artist up to date right now, okay, it's not it's gonna be that I'm, that I can jam to yeah, from yeah, Cali that you're I'm, like, I'm, I'm on, you're gonna be riding to that shit. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to say Kendrick. I'm gonna have to say Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say Kendrick Lamar because the the songs because I go by songs that like I feel like right, that right. I really like to jam and uh, the women we them weather women we that's just one song and then uh, be humble be humble that was my jam so Ken, but Kendrick Lamar was a real lyric is is a real lyricist came out you know what I'm saying so. I, I'm going to roll with Kendrick, man. I'm going to roll with Kendrick. I feel Kendrick. Kendrick. Yeah, yeah. Even though he had his last album, allegedly, according to the system and the media, it fell off. It didn't do good. It didn't do good numbers, whatever. But him as an artist with his catalog from when I first listened to him to who he is now, because and a California artist, he's my best artist from Canada. Uh, and I put number I'm one. Asking, I'm going to ask you a, a quick question. Let's see. What about... This is a good one. What is your... What is the best uh, female rapper, not just uh, like commercially, but underground? So both. Give me a commercial one and an underground one that you fuck with tough right now. F female uh, rapper. So I can give two. Two. Yeah, you got okay. the underground and you got the commercial one. I'm going to give Nicki Minaj the number one spot as far as okay. commercial. And I'm going to give Snow the product the number one spot as far as underground. Okay. Even though I feel like Snow the product. Mm -hmm. Should be uh, up there with Nikki, but I understand the politics of the game. But mm -hmm. I feel like Snow the product is hard, and I done a song with Snow the product. Uh, yeah. It's hard to find, but I did it. You know, when she was living in Dallas, my homeboy Nick Gonzalez from Arizona mm -hmm. connected me to do the feature, right. and you know, we didn't know Snow was going to be as big as she was. So right. I did Nikki the commercial number one spot because of her talent. Not because of how many records she sold and none of that. Nikki is a bad ass rapper. That's why I like Nikki. And Snow the Product is a bad ass rapper. Mm, but no you lie. said underground. I don't want to put her on yeah, the she's, ground. She's, but she's, she's higher than underground right now. Yeah, she's so, a little higher than underground, yeah. but she haven't really just went commercial. She just, she just did a, she's just did a soundtrack on a, you know, I think a lot of people do pay attention to her, but a lot of people don't, but a lot of people fuck with her and still don't pay attention, but there's a lot of shit that she's doing. No, uh, she just looked, no, no she, she, she's on the, on the uh, Black Panther soundtrack right now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so that's track. it. So she getting that. She All killing it. She killing it. So yeah, so Snow and Nicki Minaj, you know, but for those that just tuned in, Snow on the underground, Nicki Minaj on the commercial, yeah. but Snow done done the Black Panther soundtrack. Yeah. So she ain't commercial no more. Yeah, she I mean, in my bad, she ain't underground no she more. Got, I mean, she's, and then she just got the song with Luda. Oh, yeah, she yeah, got, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, so she, so she got all kinds of okay, shit. Okay, okay, so okay, so I can't yeah. put Snow in the underground. Yeah, okay, so who would you Sorry, go with? So somebody more, more lower down here. Down, down to the earth. I can't say Glorilla because she just signed that she, deal. She, but she ain't that number one spot. You know what, man? She um, get her shine on right now for sure. Shout out, Gorilla. Who the fuck be spitting? You got me. I, I can't tell you on the underground who who... 
Well, I will tell you who I like personally. Mm. Yeah. It's G Love. You know I don't what? know if you ever I'm heard of G Love. I'm gonna be real, bro. When but, you said that, I, I felt that though. Yeah, yeah. So, G Love. If you know somebody that know somebody that know somebody that know G Love, make sure you say I show her love. Ah, that wasn't around. No, no. Love. Hey, but for real though, like, yeah, G you know, Love. I don't know her like too much personally, but when she did come around, you know, uh, we we had a nice little talk and stuff, and she 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 was very genuine and, and she was a real person. You know what what, what G Love energy is 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 good. She she's hungry. She uh, yeah. you know, yeah, she's good. She's positive. She's a good. She's a fireball energy, and that's what life is. Life is the energy that you bring. Mm -hmm. But the lower part of self, and I'm not gonna get too science. Mm -hmm. Like to. Uh, sink into the negative stuff. That's why they distract us with the bullshit. Mm -hmm. uh, the Amber Heard uh, court case, even though I did watch some of it. Ah! Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying the small distractions, you know, because they had bigger shit going on. But, uh... uh me, personally, I would say uh, I fuck with... Um I would give like underground. I would say right now, there's an uh, upcoming rapper. A lot of y'all haven't even heard about this girl, man, but uh, YT Amaya. Oh, shh. I'm that one. She right there, bro. Oh, man. I got to respect her hustle, her grind. Uh, to me, she's like dope as fuck, man. She's on She's on point, bro. Hold up. I got to do it. I got to do my thing. If you know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that know YMT Amaya, that's it. YT Amaya. YT Amaya. Tell them that Mo Hustle gave her her props, and I just actually dropped an eight-bar song for a remix that she's doing. And let me tell you something. This yeah. girl does have a beautiful voice. Oh, my God. So, anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. Well, I, I, I mean, she's, she's, she's only 17. Uh, she, uh, she's, she's been working consistently. I, I, you know, she's been hustling. Oh, they said she's from Waco. Oh, my God. Yeah, she's so from Waco. know. Make sure you tag her, Jay yeah. Taylor. Tag her or something. Let her know. We, and, uh, we, we show the love, fucking though. with it. Yeah, yeah, we fucking with it. And, and you know, I got to respect the hustle. And, you know, at the age of 17 to be out here pushing like that. And then to have the voice that she has, it's like, it's beyond underground. Like, I, I could hear a commercial with her in my head every time I listen to her. And I'm like, man, she's really on to something. And if you guys don't bet your money on this girl right now, you, you're going to slap oh, yourself later. I promise yeah, you. somebody said they seen her on Baby Bash. So, Baby Bash already, Bash already I'm put her to work Bash with. Bash already on it. You know what I look? <laughs> I mean, I didn't even know that, but uh, all I know is, well, I, I I got a track with her, and she's dope as fuck. Uh, that's gonna be crazy. But I just wanted to bring her up because she's out here getting it. Uh, she's from Waco. She dope. Uh, and she she's on the move. And boy, I better pay attention. That's all I can say. She dope. Real quick, man. Let me do a little sponsorship, man. Y'all wanna hit us up, man? Hit us up on that cash app. He got the YouTube channel. I got the YouTube channel. He building his channel up. He the blogger. He been going on some certain things, some certain topics, some stuff that I really can't really too much get involved in. But I decided to come tonight to kind of get the rhythm going, you know what I mean? Get a few of my fans out. For those of y'all that don't know me, they call me Rashid, a.k.a. Shitty Gonzalez. I did a lot of songs with the Dope House running the 21st Century right now. You know what I'm saying? 21st Century Dynasty TV and uh, me and Mo Hustle, we've been working for a while. You know, doing the damn thing. Uh, of course, he's been the graphic artist. He throw the food festivals. He's been throwing the concerts. Uh, shit, after doing the songs, he just did a feature with me, K. Reno, and Bizarre from D12. And if you ain't jammed the song that put together by Bo Hustle, and shouts out Paperboy G, too, man. Paperboy G, he, uh, he the info man back there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to make him the producer man. But uh, anyway, mm -hmm. I don't want to keep going on and on, but so, so. Uh, follow my channels, my IG, Rashid 21st Century, my Twitter, Rashid 713, my YouTube especially, follow my YouTube, Rashid, I mean, I'm sorry, 21st Century Dynasty TV, and I might be able to get him to upload this video onto his channel, you know for what sure, I'm saying? Sure. And, uh, um, I never do this, man, and I ain't even trying to get you like that, man, but, uh, drop on some of that shit one time. We no, no beat, man. No beat. Oh, no, some, of that, real quick. Some, some of that hip hop shit, man. All right, check it out. An island to an island, switching different lanes. Different medications is how they deal with the pain. They say we mafioso. They say we going loco. All right, check the bars. Now, now. 
Now, the look of my life, my foot on the pedal, the look of my pedal behind. Haters, I see them ahead of me fast, but they be falling, I see in them last. The roll is dark and I'm rolling with the high beams. Trying to stay alive in the life of the live stream. Not talking to YouTube. They want to go do me like Indian Red. Stand on my body from toe to the head. All of these rappers, they go in the fair, huh? I stay down high and I look at me lean. Out of the Philly, yeah, I mean. Up in the West, yeah, that I mean. Pull up the link to your chain. Still begging that Tupac. 20 when they got two blocks. But now they got them Dracos like Wacos. So do not test the young kid or the lonely old man like the Coleon family. Y'all dealt this and what? Island to an island. Switching different lanes. Different medications is how we deal with the pain. They say we mafioso. They say we go and logo. My bad, my bad, my bad. Don't put me on the spot like that. My bro. bad, man. I never no put shit. you on the spot, man. <laughs> you know, hey. Look, I never put the man on the spot, but he always puts himself on the spot. He don't give a fuck. He love freestyling. Yeah. So, you know, man. I had to put you on the spot. My bad, man. My it's bad. It's all love. It's so, all yeah, love. I appreciate oh, you for coming, man. And, uh, you know, shout out to everybody uh, tuned in to the channel, man. Uh, this is going to be uploaded uh, on YouTube. Or it's probably on YouTube right now, I think. So, um, yeah, like you said, you, you can sponsor this channel. Uh, we got the cash app. It's going to be posted right here on the side right here. So just so yeah, you know. basically with a ball too. Before I let it go, you know what I'm saying? I got my little buzz. I got let me hit my little uh my little joint. Yeah. So we was doing the podcast shit back over seven, eight years ago, but I ain't gonna say no names. Yeah. But the motherfuckers let us drop the ball. And it's only my fault because I didn't realize he was already the gold mine. Yeah. Now these days Everybody but us is capitalizing off the shit. So it's nobody's fault but ours. You know what I'm saying? But we got a couple of homies that did capitalize off of it. But I know me personally, I was over there with Paperboy G, Tom, Ryan Gotti, you know what I'm saying? A couple guys was blowing smoke up a nigga ass, but we was running the road crew. We was running all that. So I'm just saying that to say people been getting the donations for the channel, the cash app, it's a business. It's a work, it's a business. People bring you news, people let you know what's going on. Yeah. Politics, up to date, current events, your opinion on certain shit, certain shit I don't want to talk about, certain shit we will talk about. But the donations and all that shit, we working, bro. We working. Yeah, it takes a lot of time on all that shit. It takes time, it takes time. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, some people got it easy, some people don't. So, you know, respect the hustle. That's all I can say, man. I appreciate y'all. Much love, man. We out.